Hello friends and welcome to this Power BI DAX tutorial. Today we are going to take a look at the difference between all and remove filters. Now in my previous videos I have already explained the usage of all. If you want you can go ahead and have an in-depth look. In this video I will just be giving a short synopsis of the usage of all and then compare it with remove filters function. So the first usage of all is let me go ahead and see what Power BI is telling me. So all, it returns all the rows in the table or all the values in the column, ignoring any filters that might be applied, right? So uh, obviously it will go ahead and ignore any filters that is applied on this country column. And then it will give me the distinct list of countries. If you use all as a standalone function without the use of calculate, remember without the use of calculate, what it will do, it will return an entire table, right? So this is the first usage. So I have created an entire table over here and if you go ahead and pull this country column, you'll be getting this distinct values of country that is available in your data set, ignoring any filters, if any. Now, this is not what happens when you use all inside calculate, right? So when you use all inside calculate, this is our previous example. In this example, we are having going to have two simple slices, one for the country the other for year right and in my columns i have pulled in country and i have pulled in sales now i have written all as a measure so let's take a look at what is the exact measure that i have written for all and you see all over here is used as a context modifier inside calculate now this is very important the first usage of all which i showed you it was just returning a table but over here when all comes inside the calculate function it does not go ahead and behave similarly right so what it is doing in this case is it is ignoring the filters and remember as i told you in my earlier videos it will ignore any filter which is going to come from your visual as well as any filter which is going to come from the slicer since i have put country inside all so it, once again i'll uh, let's see the syntax i have put only country inside all which means i am telling power bi go ahead and ignore anything which is going to come from the country column right so it will ignore these filter context the first filter context is for germany second row for france and third for canada it will ignore all these three and it will actually pull the total sales for all the five countries look and in the slicer also i have selected only three but you are going to get the total for all the five countries that because it's going to ignore everything or any values inside country column and it, it's going to return the sales for all the five countries so hope you are clear with the usage of all now if i go to remove filters what what happened was I think it was in October 2019 when Microsoft introduced the remove filters, right? Uh, it is an alias for all, right? But uh, you cannot use the remove filters in the first case that I showed you, right? To create the tables. It will be an alias for all only in the second case. That is, it's better that you use remove filters instead of all to keep things very simple. If you go to my website, I have clearly written the difference over here as well. Remove filters is just an alias of all, so it works in the same manner. Basically, using all returns a table including all rows, ignoring any filters that might have been applied, which I showed you in the first example. However, when all is used as a filter argument of calculate or calculate table, it behaves differently. It removes the filter from the table and does not return a table. This is very important. And to eliminate this confusing behavior of all, Microsoft introduced remove filters in October 2019 and it replaced all inside the calculate function. So let us see the behavior of remove filters now. So I have written a simple DAX using the remove filter cells. If I go ahead and select the remove filter cells and go to see the DAX, instead of all as the context modifier, modifier I have written remove filters right it does exactly the same thing so let's see the definition of the remove filters it clears filters from the specified tables 
or specified columns okay so now if i go ahead and drag and drop this so i have already dragged and dropped this remove filter sales you see exactly the sales is matching with all so when remove filters is used inside calculate it behaves exactly the same as the all function even if i select one particular year see the values changes and the values between all and remove filters are exactly the same so i hope you are dead here with the differences between all and remove filters one more difference is it is preferred that you use remove filters inside calculate because it is also a bit fast compared to all so guys if you like my videos go ahead and hit the subscribe button and have a nice day bye bye